A pleasant day to you, my dear grade 11 students. How are you today? I hope that you're holistically healthy. Our lesson for today in English for Academic and Professional Purposes is on writing a position paper. Given that this lesson is lengthy, I have divided it into two parts. The first part is what we are having now in our online synchronous class, which is focused on the definition, purpose, and structure of a position paper. As part of our daily routine, let me ask you if you have already done the BTS, which is body check, technology check, and space check. Because if you've done this, this means that you are now ready for the class. Also class, mindset check is equally important. And so I'd like you to read and believe in this affirmative statement that something good is going to happen to you and through you. You know, class, if there's one cardinal message or lesson that we have in our language class, that is to believe in the power of words. And so if you believe in this, this shall happen. As you all know, we have our own version of hashtag OOTD. And this is not outfit of the day, but it is hashtag objectives of the day. I'd like you to read silently the four objectives that we have for the lesson. These objectives are all based on the indicated MELK, or Most Essential Learning Competency. To review about the previous lesson, I'd like you to share to me what was your AHA moment during our previous session. Wow! It's great to know that you have several aha moments in the previous lesson. Let us continue to have more aha moments. This activity is entitled Hear or Shame. I will be presenting a statement. It is actually a claim of action. If you agree with it, write here in the chat box. But if you disagree, write shame. The statement is, COVID-19 vaccination should already be mandatory. Write here or shame in the chat box. Apparently, you have varied responses. Those who have written here in the chat box, let me ask you this question. Why should COVID-19 vaccination be mandatory already? Let me just hear from one of you. Thank you for your sharing. To those who answered shame, this is my question to you. Why do you think should COVID-19 vaccination still be optional? Thank you for sharing. Apparently, you have had different answers. You have had different reasons for your opinions. Whatever your opinion is, the most important thing is that you are able to take a position or stand. And in many situations and circumstances in life, taking a position or stand is imperative. And in the paper that we are discussing today, it is nonetheless necessary to take a stand and position. Thus, the title or the name of the paper, Position Paper. Now let's focus our attention on these two words, position or stand. What are the other words that you associate with these two? Thank you for giving those words. Apparently, those words that you typed in the chat box and that you've recited match the words that I am flashing now. We have attitude, belief, opinion, and view. All of these are encompassed in position or stand. This brings us to our discussion of position paper. Fundamentally, it is an academic paper that promotes an arguable or debatable view about the topic. Class, how do you know that your view is arguable or debatable? Certainly, when someone disagrees with you, when not everyone will share the same opinion. So while you are telling yes, the others may be telling no. This brings us back to 
these ideas that we have had in the first activity. So some agree with the first statement while the others agree with the second statement. Okay, whatever your opinion is, regardless of your position, the most important thing is you choose or you select one side only. Okay? No gray area, no maybe, no both. It's just one arguable or debatable view that you should take. Remember, that's the rule of thumb in position paper. And so the purpose is to convince the reader that that view that you have chosen and that you are promoting in your paper is valid. Let me just check what you have understood so far. Please complete any of the following statements. Okay, do not be shy to complete the second statement if something about the lesson is not so clear to you. Thank you for your response. We are now ready to tackle the structure of position paper. And just like any other academic papers, it starts with the introduction. Now class, how important is hook in the introduction? Precisely. Then we have also the background. Why should we present a background information in the introduction? Definitely. And look at this one. Why should there be a thesis statement in the introduction? Certainly, it gives your reader uh, a notion, a clear picture of what your main point is. Also, it will give the overview of the points that will be discussed all throughout the paper. And what's distinct about position paper is the components of its thesis statement. One, it should clearly state your position and then tell your reason or probably a couple of reasons for taking that position. This brings us back to this idea that we had in the first activity. COVID-19 vaccination should already be mandatory due to the fact that now the reasons should be there. Why do you think? that COVID-19 vaccination should be mandatory. For the body paragraphs, it is mainly composed of arguments and then a counter argument. How many arguments? At least three. Conventionally, this makes a position paper strong. And for every argument, there should be pieces of evidence. How many pieces of evidence? At least two pieces of evidence. Class, what again is the importance of evidence? Right. Without the evidence, your arguments are not explained and they will not be proven. They will not be validated. Interestingly, there is a counter argument in a position paper. While we are allergic to ideas which are contradicting ours in position paper, when you put this element, it will enrich your discussion. So how do you do it? You present, you cite a counter argument, provide an evidence or two to support that counter argument. But do not stop there. You must also be able to refute and rebut the counter argument. Why do you think, class, should we refute and rebut that counter argument? Very good. So that we shall prove that our argument is stronger than the counter argument. And there is something that we can do about the post problem or issue. Okay? And then that rebuttal and refutation of the counter argument must also be proven through evidence. Thank you for your explanations. How about the conclusion? Why is it important? Correct, to restate and reiterate our key points in the paper. Well done. Let me check again what you have understood so far. Complete any of the following statements. Once again, if something is not so clear to you about the lesson, do not hesitate to complete the second statement. Aha, uh -huh. so the counter argument is not so clear to you. 
Okay, it's all right that it's fuzzy to you right now and for the others as well. When you read a sample position paper in the next session, you're going to have a clear understanding and grasp of counter argument. Let's recap what we have discussed. We shall do that by you reading and completing the following statements. Correct. Good. Precisely. You are right. Indeed. Great job, my dear students. We can now proceed to our next activity. This is entitled Watch and Learn. These are the instructions. You're going to watch the video entitled This is How Social Media is Destroying Your Life. The Fake Reality. Then, as you watch, I'd like you to write down its message. The message is actually about the effects of social media. So that is already my scaffolding for you. Let us now watch the video. And then, of course, let's pretend that my students have already watched the video. This is just a four-minute video. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. And when you're done writing down the messages that you have understood by watching, kindly click the raise hand button. Thank you for your quick response. We can now proceed to the next activity. Using the messages from the video that you jotted down, I'd like you to construct a thesis statement for a position paper on the effects of social media. Remember that a thesis statement for a position paper is composed of the position and the reason or reasons of the writer for choosing and taking that position. You will be presenting the thesis statement that you are writing via Menti. So please go now to menti.com. The code is 87162130. Class, please be reminded that whenever you participate in Menti discussions and in other classroom response system discussions, you are presenting your ideas anonymously. And why is that so? It's because we are focusing on your idea. Okay? If we are critical about the things presented, we are not critical about you. You should not take it personally. Instead, we are critical about the idea because that expression and communication of the idea can still be improved. Okay, so do not be intimidated. Do not be threatened. This is a safe environment for you. Okay, let's have this thesis statement. Social media is highly addictive. Right, it is communicated through the video. And does it present a clear position? Definitely, okay, but what can we improve on this? What do you think, class? Okay, correct. We can add the reasons of the writer or the writers. Okay, and then let's have this one. Apparently, this is the complete version of the previous thesis statement that we've reviewed. Okay, so uh, looking into this, it says that social media is addictive. And then there is the reason. Why? Because when you use it, your brain releases a chemical called dopamine. Okay, and so this one is a strong thesis statement. Okay, well done, my dear grade 11 students. And to generalize, I'd just like you to complete these statements. Before, I used to think that you may be expressing your misconceptions. And then... But then I have realized that. Okay, what now has debunked that misconception? How is that misconception corrected? Your turn. The floor is yours. Thank you for your insightful responses. For our summative assessment, I am going to give you a written work. This is in the form of a quiz on the definition, purpose, and structure of position paper. You will answer this via Google Forms. 
As we conclude our online synchronous class for today, I am going to give you some asynchronous activities. You are to read in advance and research about the different types of position papers. Also, please read the sample position paper that I am uploading in the Google Classroom. These activities are in preparation and will surely be helpful for the next class. That's all for today. Thank you so much, my dear grade 11 students. Stay holistically healthy and believe that something good is going to happen to you. In fact, attending this class and learning something is surely a good thing that has happened to you. Bye-bye, everyone.